Okay. Okay, I'd give, give it a few clicks. You're through 200 feet. Five no feet per second. That looks good. No metal here. Nine percent fuel looks great. Okay, looks like you're going right over the metal of the uh, triplet. 170 feet out, two feet per second down, eight percent fuel. You're looking good. Okay, you can move on forward. You're just barely crossing north triplet. Barely crossing north triplet. You can land over here. There's some dust, Al. You're on your own. It's starting now. Start now. Okay. There's good dust. Okay. Looking great. 60 seconds. Very good. 40 feet. 3 feet per second. 30. 3 feet per second. Looking great. 20 feet. 10. 3 feet per second. Contact, Al. Who's stopped? Auto. Auto. We're on the surface. Okay, we made a good landing. Roger, Antares. Five and a half hours later, Shepard left the lunar module to begin the first of two explorations. Starting down the ladder. Roger. Ten years later, 114 hours, 22 minutes after leaving Earth, Alan Shepard stepped onto the moon. It looks like you're about on the bottom step and on the surface. That's bad for it, old man. Okay. Four minutes later, he was joined by Ed Mitchell. The last one is a long one. Following the tradition of two previous missions, Shepard and Mitchell planted the flag in the lunar soil. How's this, Bruce? Look okay? Yeah, you're at the good side. The next job was to load the Met, a rickshaw-like wagon the astronauts would use to transport their tools of exploration and collected samples. One of the big factors in lunar exploration is mobility. In Apollo 14, we had the Met, which let us move further afield than the previous two missions. In future missions, we'll use the lunar rover, a sort of moon-going dune buggy. This mobility will mean less time spent in getting from here to there and more time collecting scientific data. Okay, I'm going to stop here and rest for a minute now. Let's start being heavier than I expected. Shepard pulled the Met while Mitchell carried the barbell-shaped package containing an automatic scientific station they would assemble. A station designed to continue broadcasting data to Earth for a year after men departed from Morrow. Okay, Houston, we're proceeding over a very fine grain regolith. They described before. The heaven, that's a deep hole. Going down in a depression. Deep, very deep depression. That's what it looked like. 